Persons living in the communities of the Bell and Licorice village in St. Michael are struggling to make sense of a puzzling series of events that ultimately ended with the death of Jamal Quinton. The 33-year-old young man was on his way home after purchasing a brand new motor scooter. It's the same one he was riding when he was involved in a fatal accident. So I was the last person to see my life father before I took him to buy the motorcycle. So after we came back to the road, he just went his way, he went mine. I went down the town to get something for the supermarket from Jordan's and on my way back up, I stopped at the supermarket across the car road and a friend told me that I got a motorcycle on the road. And then then he just clicked to me, so he just left and he came home. I went to the back and I showed him in here, so he left and I went up with the accident. On the right there, there was him, the accident, one of my friends that lived up there. He closed his ring, but he was covered, he was already covered with a sheet. So he got the person what he was wearing, a black pants, a green box, and a white vest. I told myself, that was Jamal. When I looked, they saw the most single layer for the grown. Um, in a wreck already, and he just did, you know, say he rode in gutter. It's kind of embarrassing, for me. not embarrassing, but devastating for me. Which was, what happened is that <coughs> I got told that we can put the most in back, you find a branch up your road, you see. But then after that, he just said, no, he can ride. So he was escorting, but then he told me he had to get home, so he swung off, I left him, he came straight to the highway, and he even make it home. You know, so you may get to enjoy him more, so he got nothing, just on his way for buying more, so he get home, he passed away. And they, they told me that he, he wasn't really known to be a motorcycle enthusiast. Yeah, as, far, what, what? as far as I know, he wasn't really a motorcycle enthusiast. What he told me, I don't know if you should say this, but what he told me is that um, his intention was really to hire up the motorcycle. He wanted, because he said, well, crop over coming up, of course, he'd be coming in, and he would just save the gate and put it up and hire about $60 a day and make back some money off it. And he wasn't really like, into it for the fun of it, because just a scooter, you understand? Yeah. So, but I don't understand. When he went, when he went to bed, I think Mom told me it was a bit peppy. If you understand what that term means, right? Well, right. Explain for people who, who don't understand the term. Wait. <laughs> quick. Great to see you. A bit quick, then. All I know is that he went to Bloody Motorcycle and on his way back home, he, he died. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know because I hear a lot of stories. I don't know if he hit into a wall or if he get hit from somebody but he right off. Drive off. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. So, I don't know, honestly, how he died. Because by the time I get it there, everything was done. Because we heard somebody got in the accident and we didn't know who it was. And I was just like, I, I felt bad. I was like, look at how that person get it this morning. And they ain't even went through most of the day and they died already. And when somebody, the same person come, the same person large, he came and told us that my brother died. So I had to run inside and tell mommy, mommy put on the phone and call my father, no, no, no. And my father rushed from, because my father working in St. Philip, my father rushed from St. Philip and come down here. So, by the time we got there, everything was like basically done. And the most they get to do is when the coroner's office comes to pick up the body, is to go and see the body. I didn't get to see it. Only my father and his mother, but I don't know, it is what it is. Um, he was a good boy. Like, Knowing Jamal, like, he used to like to hustle, like, only thing that I know about he, like, Jamal used to work, save him money, and from work, it's a kid shopper, and back home, because, like, he used to, like, expensive stuff. And, like, to be honest, I ain't really know he has a bad person or nothing. He did like my children bad, like, up to, like, two weeks, either last week or two weeks ago, I was at work, I was working from home. And I hear he out there calling my son, because he's a call my son all to them. He's a call one boss and one bossy. So I hear he calling them, but I ain't hear nobody answering. And then when I come, I see they say he bring, he buy snacks and leave there for them and stuff. And that's the last time I hear he voice or anything. Mm -hmm.